so long as it's necessary to um, prevent misleading the consumer. Um, the Ninth Circuit found that because they struck down the body of our law, that the 18 label would be misleading. So that's, that's an interesting um, concession on your part that the labeling doesn't have a need separate from the restriction on sale. I would have thought that if you wanted a lesser restriction that you would have promoted labeling as a reasonable strict scrutiny restriction to permit the control of sale of these materials to minors, but you seem to have given up that argument altogether. Justice Sotomayor, I certainly did not attempt or, or intend to concede that, um, that the Ninth Circuit's opinion was correct in, in any sense. In well, you have conceded it by not appealing it, but okay. We're not, your case on labeling rises and falls on the sale to minors. At this point, yes. I would agree, Your Honor. I gather that, that if, if the parents of the minor want the kid to watch this violent stuff, they like gore, uh, they may even like violent kids, then, then the state of California has no objection, right? So long as the parent buys the thing, it's perfectly okay. Your Honor, under Ginsburg, they're entitled to direct the development and the upbringing of their children in the manner they see fit. It's important to the state of California that the parent can that we ensure that the parent can involve themselves in this important decision. So, so that's basically uh, all this is, is uh, a law to help parents. Is that right? It's one of the two fundamental interests that are served by this law, yes, ensuring that parents can involve themselves. In the front end, California sought to erect a barrier in between 